an elderly widow what changes she had seen in her lifetime. None, she replied through an interpreter. I'm still gathering and eating leaves. My roof still leaks. Only now I can't walk far enough to get the grass to patch it. She didn't know how old she was, but she was probably remembering back over 70 or so years. No facilities then, no facilities now. No rights then, no rights now. The journey was life-changing. Back home, nothing was the same again. I was determined to see what I could do to help give these women a voice, and others like them. That was the beginning of our Field Partners programme. Megisho and Bahati are a courageous husband and wife team from DR Congo. Inspired by the vision of giving women a voice, they established Kafapri in the rural mountain villages of eastern DRC. Les femmes et les filles que nous représentons ont été violées pendant les guerres à répétition. Ces femmes rurales ont accouché des enfants. Nous avons besoin d'une aide. Une aide, un support pour aider ces enfants à aller à l'école. Si pas, ils peuvent s'affilier aux au milices et ainsi perpétuer le cycle de la violence. Mito Sergal from Weave Women teaches skills to Burmese refugees in Thailand. She believes that women's voices will make a big difference at every level. Where is women in this peace process? It's always the case of leaders, government officials, you know, the resistance group or the armed groups coming together. But what is the role of women? Uh, usually it's the women and the children who are survivors, you know, in, in this situation. We believe passionately that grassroots women's groups have the potential to create a sustainable and caring world. They have the systems in place. They have the trust of the local communities. They understand their culture. They know what is needed. First and foremost, they need to be heard.